In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Welcome to the Beliefs of Islam. This episode's topic is the correct Islamic position in regards to the existence of God. As has been mentioned in the previous episodes of this introductory show, which aims to clarify the correct position within the doctrines of Islamic belief, the position of those who accept the revelation of God, of Allah, the personal God of mankind, who intervenes and created mankind with a specific purpose is entirely different from the rational speculations of the philosophers and indeed differs from the emotional pseudoscientific claims of mystical philosophy. It is necessary to understand what is meant by this claim for those who are confused as why Islam does not depend upon the previous two mentioned methodologies, then it is necessary to refer back to the previous episode which explained in what way such methodologies often lead to divergent conclusions which are perversion of the revealed truth of God. One of the primary differences between revealed truth and the doctrines of rationality and mysticism is that whilst Islam does not reject the role of rationality and spirituality in the realm of a human wayfaring towards God, Islam also recognizes that since Allah is the creator of limited human intellects, then Allah is the one who is best the place to provide an insightful understanding of his nature, attributes and expectations of mankind. These aspects of his nature, attributes and the expectations he holds of us are often things which we can feasibly understand are way beyond the limited understanding and rationalization of this restricted and humble species which belong to namely mankind. What role can we say that the human intellect plays then and why is it that Allah would create us with such an intellect if he did not require us to utilize it in attempting to understand them? The answer to such question is that Allah has created the gift of human intellect for several reasons and that the question includes a hidden assumption which is to some degree fallacious. Firstly, it should be noted that Allah has not created anything in vain. The human intellect is a brilliantly designed phenomenon which allows a human to distinguish between false claims and true claims. Through the intellect we are able to discern characteristics which are not benefiting of Allah in terms of His being. We are able to discern that He is one and is not several. We can discern that He is not less powerful than His creation and numerous other issues. Through human reason one can come to appreciate that the Islamic message is the true one and can come to recognize an actual uh, revelation from a false claim. In that sense, the human intellect is a great aspect of our existence, for it is able to recognize truth when it is being used in a sincere manner and unpolluted by the evils of desires and other sins. However, we uh, do not believe the intellect itself can recognize anything about Allah other than negating negative attributes from Him. In that sense, due to the limitations of human beings, we can see that it in and of itself is not a primary source for determining sound doctrine. Thank you very much for watching. Fi